What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dev Royale. I am your host, as always, Kevin Coleman at the boys underscore 22. And we are back with another edition of our film breakdown, looking at a player from the 23 class or someone that's going to be draft eligible very soon and just talking about, hey, what do we expect from him moving forward? And on this edition of the show, we got our guy B. John Robinson from Texas. Film breakdown of him, going through him. If you missed the Quinn Ewers breakdown uh, about a couple weeks ago, we had a good good breakdown there. And now we're going to take out B. John. And B. John is the quintessential running back one of the 23 class we we're talking about what he's been able to do over his career he's looked phenomenal in texas uh and and he's just continually looks phenomenal as we talk about the oklahoma state game so we're gonna watch a little film from that little film from the oklahoma game and just talk about what we expect from him. so let's just take a look at what he's done in his career so this season you know he had 920 yards rushing already 162 attempts he's looked fantastic the last I mean, the whole season, but since the UTSA game, the third week of the season, he has had over 100 yards rushing in every game since then. Lee, um, on Saturday, he played Oklahoma State. He had 24 attempts, 140 yards and a touchdown. He always had a 41-yard catch for a touchdown. And you see there, he's a very good receiver and rusher. So when we're talking about a dual-threat kid, he is definitely that as a running back. He can do it all pretty much. And when you're looking at what he's been able to do, he's been able to produce, right? His freshman year, he produced. Last year, he produced, even though he got injured. This year, he's been able to produce on an offense that has struggled at times, but they've really leaned on him. He became that leader that they needed, and he's looked great. Now, hasn't necessarily had a ton of wins. Obviously, they lost three games this week, especially the Oklahoma State game, which they were up by 14. But Bijan is a big part of the reason why they've been able to be successful. And we're looking at what the recruits have done. He's changed that culture and what he's able to do. Now, let's talk about, so like we like to do on the channel, we talk about strengths, we talk about weaknesses, we'll go over a little bit of film, and we'll go through it. So let's let's first look at his strengths. So some things that he does well. Bijan is pretty close to being as 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 well-rounded as a back as you can do. He's going to be a three every down back. So we're just first of all, I want everybody to know, he's going to be every down back in both run and pass game. There's no like, hey, there's no, there's no getting him off the field. He's a three down back. I mean, he's excellent. His scheme tendencies, you know, he pretty much does inside outside zone, but he can pretty much do it all. I, I'm not worried about any fit for him in terms of where he's going to be at. I just, I just don't see um, Bijan being a problem in any offense that he gets to. He, he can do it all. He's versatile. He can go in and out in terms of like offensive systems and all of that. Now, as far as his skill base, like, hey, what does he do extremely well? Open field athleticism is the first one. He makes guys miss. And when you're talking about what he's been able to do this season, you can just tell his break, his broke ta- his break tackles, his ability to kind of move agility, his agility and open speed, excuse me, open space, those type of things he does well. Bijan does that, right? So he, he scans holes. He's able to hit the backside very well. He can go in through. And he, when he's in the open field, there's not a lot of guys that take that can take him down. Jump cuts, spin moves, straight power, all those different things that he does. He makes it extremely, extremely hard for defenders to be able to take him down. Bijan's that guy, and he is him, right? That's what everybody's talking about, all the young kids. He's that guy in the open field. No one can take him down like that. Now, he's got power and speed. So when we're talking about his ability, he's big kid. Hey, and, and his size is there. You see that frame, but then you top that frame off with his speed. And, I mean, he's just one of the best players in college football, if not the best in terms of just skill-based, right, when we're talking about him. And he's got that speed, 4 4, four five. I'm sure he's going to run in that 4-4 four, four range, what he's able to do. Then he's tackle, Then he's hard to take him down. You cannot arm tackle this kid. He's that, he's that special. And you're going to see a couple runs when you watch the tape. Like, he's that good. When you're talking about it, he's a game changer, man. He he leans, he does all those different things that you like to do from a from just a game changing perspective. His guys use him. The the team has used him. Without him, they'd be even worse off than they would be as a program. And he's kind of built that program back up. And he's going to be an immediate game changer as soon as he walks on that field. As soon as he walks on that field next year, he's going to be an immediate game changer. And if if you play dynasty or if you're playing fantasy football, he's going to be a top five dynasty running back if he's not already, right? So that's what we're talking about with Bijan and how talented he is. Now, those are his strengths. Let's talk a little bit about weaknesses. Now, these are just weaknesses because you're trying to find some things that he could work on. I, I Maybe I shouldn't use the word weaknesses, right? Maybe you just say hey, things he could work on. I think there's time where his patience and tempo can be a little bit better. I think I've seen an improvement this year. So I do want to say that I've seen that from his sophomore and freshman tape to his junior tape, he has gotten better at his patience and tempo. And I think a big part of that is that line's gotten better. So he hasn't had to just run into it as soon as he sees a hole. I think he lets plays develop a little bit more now, but you'd like to see that it kind of improves. And we're thinking about that just a little bit. Not 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 a ton of times, but just a little bit. Like, you know, I think he relies on his athleticism a little bit too much. If he gets that patience and tempo, then we're talking about a kid that can definitely be special. He already is special, but like 
that upper echelon of backs, right? When we're talking about, hey, what can his ceiling be? Ceiling could be a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's he's that, he's that special. As long as he stays healthy and he hits these kind of metrics, we could see him being in that in that category. Pass protection too. I think from a, just a standpoint, he's got to get it refined. I don't think he's bad at it. I don't think he's asked to do a lot of it. So it's like, hey, let's let's see it refined. And I think it's a cop out sometimes that people put pass protection on the list just because it's like, well, what kind of weakness does he have? I think they all do. I think all running backs in college football have those weaknesses. But he has that mental ability and that and and that kind of that that fortitude right to say hey i need to go get better at this so i think he will with coaching so that, that doesn't really scare me a lot but if i had to pinpoint some things that i definitely want to see Bijan do a little bit better these would be the three just based on tape based on film breakdown those type of things but let's take a look at the film let's talk about what he did so against oklahoma state we saw this he was really the team in this game um and really i wish they wouldn't have went away from him too much oklahoma state did a better job in that second half against him but if you watch this run i mean these are the things that he excels at and this is where i'm talking about that one jump cut sees the hole and these are the things that you get excited about with Bijan. so again here sees the hole able to hit that hole quick then he's getting the second level and those that defender had no 25 had no shot there 25 just he, he's he's seeing that right now he's like oh my god I can't believe i did that and then you're gonna look at this i mean he has that passing upside right that receiving upside in the passing game he can do this. He had a couple one-handed catches this year. Those you like to see. This is where his strength comes into play is one jump cut, going through the next level. Like when he gets to that next level, that's where we see that game-changing ability, right? So when we put that on the strengths, that's why. Again, this is the strength area. Does a really good job in the middle. That is just a grown-ass man run. So when we're talking about grown-ass man, we're talking about B. John right here. Up the middle, able to make guys miss, carries three, four, five guys until he gets to the next, like basically a 15-yard run, right? 14-yard run. Again, in the inside, can slip those tackles. More than likely, it's going to take him one or two or three defenders to get him down. That's how that's how talented he is. And when you like that that inside run scheme ability, that's why I think he gets highlighted in inside zones because I think he has that ability so much. He go if he goes to his own blo blocking scheme, I think that his skills will elevate himself into like, wow, this kid is really good. That one cut ability up the field. He he did this against Oklahoma too. Now we're not talking about big runs all the time. Little things like that. Where he's able to, you know, get that defender to miss, and he's able to make something out of nothing. That is a great run. That's a nuanced run right there. It's one of those runs that people highlight very well. Like that could have been a, just a two-yard gain. He turned it into a seven-yard gain. Like these are the little things that Bijan does well that you're like, wow, it's that's just special. Again, able to stand his feet. He gets hit there a little bit, almost comes up. We've seen him do that a plenty, plenty of times. And again, this is where his receiving ability kind of comes into play. I just wanted to highlight this. Like he's got good hands. It's not that his route running is. Like, oh, what is his route running? Could, running? could it be vanilla? Yeah, maybe. But when you're looking at his hands, he's got legit, legit hands here. Okay, brings it down, able to do that, and he has the one-hand catches that you'd like to see. So those are the type of things that you really get excited about with B. John Robinson. Now, Outlook, let's talk about it. Like, we named the title of this, you know, episode, like, hey, will he be a top 15 pick in the NFL draft? And I know we've been going away from this. So when we're talking about, like, what do we do with, like, running backs? And I know that you might not want him to go in that area, right? So if we're thinking of, like, where is he going to go in terms of like, you know, the, the mock drafts that we're seeing and where is he at? So this is where just recently. So I looked up the last, basically, if you go to mock draft database, which is an incredible database, I would highly check it out. This is where he's going in the last drafts, mock drafts that we've seen from October 19th. I try to keep it real simple. So he's going as far as 5, 19, 22, 32, 31, 31, 27, 9, 19, and 23. So we're thinking of, okay, where is he going to draft? He's already going. There is not one mock draft that has him outside the first round. So if we're thinking about that, and we're thinking about this idea of like, where is he going at in terms of the, the mock drafts out there? And the mock drafts are so speculative right now, but just in terms of, you know, we're talking about real guys that I trust. We're talking about CBS Sports, um, even like Tankathon, you're talking about them, Yahoo Sports, these guys that are pretty tuned in. Pro Football Network is another one. I would check them out. It's pretty tuned in. Draft Network, those guys. And we're thinking, hey, his average right now is about 18th. So his consensus pick is an 18th pick. If he continues to do pretty well as a running back, we could see him easily get in that top 15. He is a game changer. I know I know teams are getting smarter and saying, hey, we don't need to draft a running back in that category. But there are guys, look what the Niners just gave up to go get CMC. There are teams out there that need a running back like this, and I think they'd be willing to give up the draft capital for a guy like this, especially that speed. So think of like the Eagles have multiple picks. Think of some other teams that might be able to, hey, move him and go get him. Imagine putting the e B. John Robinson on the Eagles with this roster. I mean, if Miles moves on, they don't want to repay him, right? And then they get Bijan Robinson in a rookie contract. I mean, that could just be that could be special, right? So outlook there. I think there's also a question mark. What do we do with Bijan moving forward? So okay, what are we talking about with Bijan? 
Will he come back and play for Texas after they've lost three games? Maybe he sits out. I don't know about that, but I think he's on the front runner right now like for being the best running back in the country. I think he can be the best running back in the country easily in terms of like the awards if he stays if he stays healthy and he finishes it out. And you got to love what you ever see. But 18th consensus, you got to love that. So I appreciate you guys tuning in to the channel as always. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We have been pushing the content for you guys, and I know you guys are liking it because you're hitting the subscribe button more than we have seen. We really appreciate that. Please check out our Patreon. Check out our podcast over on College Football Guys. You can find it below in the description post. I appreciate you guys more than you guys know. Hit that like and subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.